We are live. Hello, everybody. It's Tuesday again. It's almost said two minutes late as usual. Yeah. Wrong. Weird. It gives us a countdown. It says now go. But anyway, welcome back. This is the 30th week of this show. Really been that long. Yeah. Time flies. I was. was that you? That's you. Adam. Yes. That's my daughter. <laughs> so anyway, 30th week. Uh, we do have a new release today. And <laughs> I may have clickbaited you slightly with the thumbnail, but that was a photo of F10 portal axles because those are rolling through production. They should, they're hitting the website constantly. So those people have been asking for those housings. You should keep checking, but that is not the new release. But they fit on them. They do fit on those though. <laughs> I specifically took a photo of a rear because the rear portal covers are now on the website. Well, as long as Brandon is doing it right this second, because those <laughs> they're both available black and clear. So anybody who has machined F10 portals and didn't want to run a brass rear cover because that was one we uh, previously had available, we've got the now matching. That's a front. <laughs> Just the middle. But yes, the uh, so the covers are available so you guys can complete your all aluminum housings if that is what you're after. I'm sure we'll have to hit that a few more times today because right at the beginning of the show. But for those of you that are early on, there's good good supply. So you don't have to leave the video right now to go check out unless you have a second computer, then go for it. Otherwise stay for a while. <laughs> add a tab. <laughs> yeah, add tab. Most people are on their phone. Yeah, probably maybe. You can, you can still do that. <laughs> With YouTube premium, you can listen and do other things. Highly suggest. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, that was uh, that's today's release. There's still of course, working on more and new things and all of those. But, oh, there you go, Brandon. Thank you. 8628 and 8627. I don't know why you had to put them in that order. That hurts my brain. So. <laughs> but, yes, thank you for that. So, hopefully that'll... I have my one fan. Hi, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere else except for Josh, I got the one fan. Yeah. <laughs> Just that guy in the back. So. Family. There's a button on the side of your phone, actually. No, I didn't know that they're calling. <laughs> I have kids. Android. Someone, someone is a kid. <laughs> I had uh, been on. A, I was on a live stream this weekend with uh, Guam Bashers, and you called me twice, but like back to back. Oh. And I was like, oh, I was like, I better call him. And then I called him back, and he didn't answer. And I was like, we were having trouble arming this. Must not have been dead. And you said you had an app yeah. to do it. I don't have an app installed, but thanks for holding me as a priority. I don't know if I broke that or it just made a weird noise. I think someone's getting too heavy. <laughs> so no sound. I think someone has their uh, volume off on their phone. Stubby kit ETA. Uh, stubby kits will be finished before too long, but still we're not giving an actual ETA on those, but still in the works. You'll see them as soon as they become available. Uh, not something that we'll give a date on. We're just, once they arrive, they'll hit the site and we'll tell you then. This is no matter when you ask. It's so nice when the new website shows the updates at the top. Uh, well, we have that up there now, but that's on our old website. The new website will still, will hopefully be better yet. But <laughs> it's, uh, you know, the website thing, it's so close. I'm just, I've got a couple of hurdles left and of course been limited on time to actually get all of those things. Up. So no polished axles. Blame Josh. I even said they're going to think there's axles. <laughs> those are photos of uh, machine uh, axles basically right off the machine. They're just machined so well they look polished. And then I threw them into Lightroom and threw a filter on them and made them look even more shiny. <laughs> um, that's the order there on the website. Now that is true because I do black. Well, it's in like reverse or it's the latest. So so it was your fault. Not really. No, like I added black first because that's the first number. Then <laughs> I ordered clear. So it's correct order. Josh has been blaming other people a lot. That's in the last not week. true. Yes. Well, it's been we, very there was a boating issue that Jim caused this week. We had a fun uh, Vanquish boating outing this last weekend. Uh, we're not making boats. We were just having fun with boats. Otherwise, we make boats. We'll yeah. take the fun out of it. Yeah, exactly. Fun with flags. Um, Careful, we're near San Francisco. Yeah. The uh, let's see, 
Uh, what do you guys think of the? Uh, I've I've not seen anything on those releases. Oh, there you go. Scroll Maybe all scroll the way down. down. A lot. There you go. Yeah, so good. Josh, your hand. Yes, it was my hand in the in the video. There you guys are, or in the uh, thumbnail. Yeah. Thank Haven't you. Seen that. Appreciate it. I have a second hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, it's been busy around here lately. Obviously, uh, the last week we had the release of the re-release of the. VS410 Phoenix kit version, the portal kit. So I know a lot of people had picked those up. Hopefully you've all maybe already received them and, and got to building on those. It was a fun to, to get the update on that done with the new Falcon tires. Uh, they ha do have, there's a, and there'll be an updated manual before too long with the riot wheel update that's on those, but a couple little things like that. I find this question weird, so I'm just gonna show it. Um, Yeti Knuckles and Stage like Two pushed. different vehicles, right? Like, Steel Knuckles. I'm talking about Yeti versus this, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the Yeti, now, there is no Stage 1 kit for a Yeti, as far as I'm aware. Um, you must be talking about Wraith Knuckles. So, Wraith Knuckles for the AR60, yes. they are in the Stage 1 kit. The Scale Knuckles require different, or don't require, but they're best paired with the other C hubs as well. So, if you want those items, you should. You'll just pick those things all up individually. Those are some older items at this point. So um, there won't be any any changes or any differences with that. And also, we never did orange scale knuckles. We only did black, clear, and gray. Right? I have a video of you walking around late. Is that what it means? <laughs> Who went wade? I uh, didn't have to go wading while boating. I had to go wading while monster trucking for some reason. We actually had a little tugboat to help us in oh, the boat part. Yeah. Tugboat while boating was a uh, absolutely a, a quality of life improvement. <laughs> if you want to keep your boat nice, be careful you're driving around. Yeah, this this group. <laughs> People going the opposite direction. Yeah, we were at times we Jim and I were both standing next to each other, like watch that boat. That's going to be the boat that causes the. <laughs> um, let's see. Phoenix Straight Axle Kit is showing uh showing on the homepage mm -hmm. banner. Makes me want both kits. Ah, the. We actually we ran out of those not too long ago, I think. So, yeah, some banner updates, and uh, you know, there's still a few things like that on the website that probably need to be updated. But I've been focusing more on the new one and getting things like that tuned up. And really, I really want to try and make that swap as soon as possible. So that's uh, that's definitely been been a focus. So, and I think a lot of you guys will like that. Some of the filtering and way that it also the checkout the the new style checkout give you the ability for the shop pay and the shop app stuff so you can check out a lot faster just a lot of nice improvements i was waiting for the me and josh were waiting for him to fall in the water from the other boats <laughs> yeah someone just to spear that, that little dinghy and just, they were coming pretty close <laughs> steve was one of them so <laughs> no we couldn't have his propeller but yeah <laughs> He was driving one of the other boats at the time, I think. Uh, oh, listening while I crawl. That's uh we all do. <laughs> Say its name. Say its name. We don't know. It's, it's you know its name. Unknown. <laughs> you know its name. Uh, I showed up late. What did I miss? Are we getting uh, leaks? Not leaks, but actual releases. If you showed up late, we've got the rear portal axle caps for the F10s available on the website now, black and clear both. So if you got the machine housings and you wanted an aluminum rear cover, those are up for purchase already. DPS 0, 8627, and 8628. Actually, it's 8628, yeah. 8627. <laughs> and if you want the UPC, 791511, 278. They're gone now. <laughs> no more Phoenix Change. It's on the fix. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> You said his name. <laughs> it bit me. It actually came. <laughs> uh, what is the rig bottom left that on the shelf? Talking about this one. Bottom left. That'd be left. I, I think you might mean. I don't know which one you mean. That would be the middle. Was this bottom left or is that one? That would be left. Be more descriptive. This is going to screen left, our left. Uh, any chance you will make light blue from the wheel a permanent color option? No, that will definitely not be a permanent color option. 
that is way too confusing for both people and our anodizers to keep consistent colors. Uh, anodizing is a, kind of a constant battle of trying to make sure they stay within the range of targets anyway. And blue's the worst. And well, oof. blue's the worst. I don't I don't even think it's top three worst. It's the worst. <laughs> um, but the light blue was just like a fun option to do. That's why the the you know the trucks of fortune, wheels of fortune thing is uh is fun to do because we can play around with those things that uh, we wouldn't do in normal production setting for a number of reasons, but it can just be a fun option for people to have. It should go to tire. Uh, for the VRD, I use VXT2. Um, I pretty much ran the VXT2 on it solely at this point. Uh, it's, it's what I compete with. It's what I've competed with at like Sorka national events, all of those. It just does really well for me, uh, especially out here. To finish these. Yes. They've been sitting here for over a year. <laughs> Probably longer. Maybe. Here, write them a note. Yeah. With the RC pool drive pen. I was trying to get them to. <laughs> <laughs> you think a lot of things get premature changed. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's what works. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Can't count on them for anything. <laughs> there you go that was a live that was another live feed uh uh discovery many many live streams ago um are you working on that i'm still waiting on upgrades for my wheelie king <laughs> did we always yeah i think we always did i remember i was getting most sick of my uh discs clicking from how soft the axle housings were and letting the pinion move away we used to have to go through a lot worse situations back then <laughs> I need to go to your house and do that. Whoa. So, Can you just like let me and Brandon go in there no. and pull some shit out? No. Brandon saw my uh saw my garage when he was there last time. He's like, oh, I shot it. Leave me alone. But it's how it goes. I know where everything is. Pretty sure. <laughs> Let's or, yeah. Not even for one letter. <laughs> uh, any more blue diff covers for the HD44? I have a bunch of ammo here, too. Yeah, I know. There's many, many of them. It's because they were only 16 cents each. Any more blue diff covers? Same same situation. That was just a fun deal for the uh, Trucks of Fortune. That was the plan for those. We had stated at the time that all that was for. So the, the special items like that are just intended to be just that. And we know about the situation, so contact. Yep. Focus. If you've got a piece support, if you got a problem with that, they were drilled to the size of the uh, regular hex driver tips and not the nut driver handles. So if you have an issue, shoot customer service an email, and they'll uh, get you swapped. So take care of that right away. It is the learning process of bringing new people on board. Yep, and the uh, the print was correct. The Swiss machine stuff has been super improved. You know, catching up on lots of lots of things. The machines are. In a much better running condition, and the main, it just looked fantastic. Oh, Brandon, silver buggy, I guess. Uh, this is Brandon's. This is a UC Fab uh, buggy. This is his Moon buggy chassis, and it's got F10 portals on it with the behind the axle mount, the same one that's used in the stubby kits. And VFD is spun around backwards. It's got the aluminum style behind the axle mount for the rear axle, four wheel steer, VXT twos currently. Um, yeah, it's just a fun little moon buggy style. Looks good. He's got it's really good actually. It's got a the VFD like I said. It's turned around backwards. It's a stubby as well. Got a I think it's got an HK Hobbies and a Crawlmaster V two in there. So I know he's been wanting to do some updates on this, but busy. Um, let's see. Next, what does theme? F10 any let's see. Can any of the F10 rear internal parts be carried over to the F10 front housing for a rear wheel steer conversion? Uh, the only parts that will work for you there are going to be the ring and pinion and spool. Uh, you know, some of the bearings, but for the most part, you are going to need new axle shafts, of course, because you're steering the 
you're going to need knuckles. You're going to need the lower portal outputs because they are different front to rear as well. So you're going to need bit, pretty much all the parts. You'd likely be best off just getting a front axle kit. I know those are currently out of stock, but from us at least, but you may be able to find them at dealers and distributors. That'd be uh, VPS 08600. And that would be your probably your most effective way to get all the parts you need with the bearings, and shafts, housings, knuckles, the whole deal. So that's what I would what I would recommend on that one. Yeah. Capital Queen? That yeah, we've seen that one. Like that Ultra Four thing? Yeah. Let's see. I don't think um, it'll hold up, but it looks good. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very similar to I've owned a, a couple of those, the capos. Not something I would I personally had very good experience with. Um, what update on two point two rings? Uh, yeah, I guess you have to be more specific on that. We've Are we I, out of rings, not as far as I'm aware of, uh, at least currently. The uh, double dig VFD adapter, but that's a that's a project brand. That's one of those things like with buggies like this. Oftentimes, those things pop up as these are personal projects, things that we really enjoy and. Like Brandon, he had showed that in one of the uh, We Are Sea Rock groups because we were talking about buggies. And that's one of those things that design's done and you got to see it right then. Uh, normally, that's something that we, if we, a, a typical product, typical thing, we do that prototype, test, finals, production, then release. And that's a much longer thing. So you guys just get a, a glimpse of that every once in a while. And then, yes, it's going to be, a while before you actually see production parts. And when you do, you'll know about it. We'll, we'll announce them, we'll show them, you'll see them on the site, the whole deal. But that's you you just that's kind of the ups and downsides of showing things ahead of time. It's fun to discuss new things, the things we uh, are passionate about personally with our own projects, but you then have to keep relaying to people that this isn't something you're gonna see in a week two weeks or a month, possibly even. It could be two months or three months or longer, depending on the whole process and what we discover or not. Or years. Yeah, or it can be a year or more. It's just one of those it things. shouldn't be no problem. Does the subject could work on the VFD on. on the twin? The Yeah, it will bolt up. So you can physically mount the shorter top shaft, the posts. It will be a slipper eliminator version. So you will need to get a different spur gear that's not included with the kit. And then also the VFD twin has its own skid plate. So that is not meant, you know, meant to work with the stubby kit. So if you do that, you're not going to have a hole to mount for that front of motor plate. You're going to have to make one on your own of some sort. And then also, depending on what you're putting it in, how you're going to mount the motor plate to the chassis is different. So it's not made for a Phoenix, things like that, because of the other clearance you know, issues and a four links conversion, the whole deal. So the, the answer is yes, but also no, unless you're just really thinking of a custom application. So we're not going to be stocking all that uh, rings, all that stock. Any up? Uh, well, it it, up any, two point. Outer rings. Now it depends if you mean the outer beadlock ring, like the OMF, like the phase five and the scallop and things like that. I think you saw about the front part of it. Uh, those are called front rings usually. Yeah. And the outer ring was to the beadlock. It depends on which one you're talking about. If you're talking about the OMF, like multi-piece step with the back ring, the trim ring, and then the outer beadlock ring, the trim and the back ring, those are those will not ever, those are not coming back. Those are those have been off for five plus six plus years at this point. So I, I don't even think that they show on the website. So that's, uh, you know. You guys just dealt with that recently, right? When, when will out of stock titanium? Um, those are, any of the out of stock lengths will be back before too long. Maybe, you know, again, probably not given a date. That's being worked on though. Uh, everything's in production on that. So again, when asking for dates or when will. If, when, I'm, if someone keeps asking the same question a lot of times, because I don't have an answer, so I'm not gonna. Yeah. If you're asking yeah. when something is gonna be back, it's likely not something I'm not going to give you a date. We're not going to give you a date regardless. So it's just one of those things. Like, because it could change. Things change all the time. And giving a date, it just makes it harder for customer service and everything else. Greetings from the city. Hello. My wife is here from 2,000 miles away. <laughs> the city of Kansas. It's actually in Missouri. <laughs> Let's say hi to your wife. I did say hello, wife. And nephew, probably. The, when are the drift wheels coming out? 
I'm gonna. I know art. I would. I'm, there you go. That's your fault. No, I'm aware. I'm gonna let him sit on that one. <laughs> I'll keep sitting on it <laughs> until it comes up in the list, and there's nothing priority in front of it. <laughs> Steve took care of it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What's a decent shock for a droop trail rig or trail setup? 100 millimeter with a spring would be great. Um, I mean, I don't really prefer the droop setup, like a fully compressed, especially for trail, as you don't have any up travel, which is usually something that I would like to have on a trail rig. Um, you know, if I'm wanting more of a like half compressed setup, kind of like this, I would just run and you want a hundred millimeter. I'd, I mean, I'd run a 90 with a plus five. I guess would be my suggestion on that. But again, I wouldn't run it fully collapsed, especially on a trail truck. The uh, raw aluminum axles, please. Nope. We've discussed that before in the past as well. I put up that photo as a good clickbait, but we don't sell raw things like that just because of trying to give axles the best chance of always having the best appearance. Should Keep I start things. the new thing of eating a carrot in front of Josh no. Howard? Not, oh, you want to talk about the internet also hates that. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, new release for today, if you were not here towards the beginning, is the rear portal axle caps for the F10s, aluminum, uh, clear and black, already available. So they're on the site now. You can pick those up whenever you need. I'm waiting on Dan, I think, on those. LED light bars. Uh, yeah, those are, I believe that those are, are still, Dan is working on wiring and production of those. Those are one of those things that it's a, a product we've been making for a long time. They are a, a labor intensive product at this point. So they're, you know, as things have gotten more popular and they're still kind of at that same speed of production, it's it's harder to, and Dan's busy here you know, during the day. So yeah. Just to be so. clear, no. <laughs> Someone's asking what the rig was in the back. It's one of Brandon's. This is Brandon's easy fab rigs. I don't want to start a yeah, rumor as bad. Exactly. No, this is just, this is a UC Fab chassis. Brandon finished himself and has already done a nice job of scuffing up. Could be all of us just playing with it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, I got a lot of trucks that <laughs> just get bench played with and they don't get too strong. Where are front axles? Aren't they uh, heat treat I think, now? Oh, yeah, that's, I think I'll do it. We've been... Doing some shaft, but I don't know what. I uh, finished the last shafts to go to heat treat. Though. I think Bob's been working on tools at this point. Yeah. Uh, so, soon. One day. Yep. Problem, they're in process. This takes a while. Uh, do you. Th is it 3D. Which ones? Sorry. Do you think the 3D printing. Oh, sorry. 3D printing background check thing will spread to more. Who knows? <laughs> I, I try not to comment too much on like. That was just a, an active story that I commented on. I'll try and make, I always try and make sure that uh, any live stream stuff is non political topics. Josh won't stop talking in the office. <laughs> so it's pretty much all day. It's not planned. Because it's Brandon, too. It's like, when's it going to start? We're talking about our fantasy F1 leagues. Oh, it's great times. <laughs> we should do that one day. <sighs> I know. I mean, I love 24 scale. The uh, let's see, also kind of wonder noticing this. Oh, sorry, go to that one there. Uh, yeah, also kind of wondering how big of a difference so did you, you notice? Yourself? This is me yeah, swapping the VFD into your 10.3. Uh, I think it made a, a very noticeable difference as far as how the truck is is planted. Actually, I know a number of people have done Matt actually, Scale Builders Guild, put up a running video today of his 10.3 with that same swap. Um, I don't know that he did any like dialogue uh, commentary. Easier? What's that? Would it be maintenance be easier to get to it and stuff? It is easier to get in and out than the the previous version. Yeah. Um, but the weight is so much so much lower. It's central. It's a it's definitely a, a solid a solid upgrade. So I highly recommend. What axles for CJ? Axles. Um, so I am on my CJ at home. I'm planning on doing a Straight axle swap with like some F10 style, probably the HD44. I think that would be the one that I would choose. But any of the straight axles that we have uh, for the VS410 will be a, a similar geometry there. 
The only thing I haven't done yet myself is confirmed the upper link geometry pan hard lengths. Those two things may be slightly adjusted and I haven't confirmed that uh, to make a suggestion on either a link length that may need to be changed or some rod end changes. So once I do that personally, I'll be able to put out a video on that and let you guys know, but I know it's possible. People have done it, but I need to make sure that it works with my VFD swap that I've done and the whole deal. Someone respond to a guy up there, but um, you have, it's not a wheel builder, but at least you'll be able to kind of see more options easier. Yeah, it, the an actual wheel builder is not something that is currently in the works. Uh, it's a great idea. We would all, you know, we've talked about it before, but right now it, it's not a, it's not a reality. So not something that's going to be done or is work being worked on. Um, links are fine, but Panhard needs to be longer. Uh, yeah, Josh on the, on the SCX3, I don't know that I wanted to check that it works with the VFD swap. And then, yeah, the link links is specifically what I wanted to, uh, what I wanted to confirm. So. Well, links new... being panhard being a link actually we have another new part kind of oh yeah the second thing so. which this is more on the uh this would be under the apparel side but for uh, those of you that already had a comp stance mug or didn't already have one we added a second color on the new batch that's a super nice blue color i actually really like this one so uh we got these added to the site today as well so if you're looking for a something else to add to your order you can check that one out and again depending on when you joined f10 rear portal axle caps how soon to the new cycle live i will say josh has been working his butt off on that <laughs> i don't give him compliments very often so yeah. <laughs> just tells you he's been working his butt off uh it, there's really it's just uh it's a lot of making sure things are checking through right now uh shipping rates shipping zones and that type of stuff the the website's populated things are moved over functionality is good it's just making sure that it functions properly all the way through the process we, we have dealers and distributors that use our same site so trying to make sure that everything works for everybody no matter what kind of customer that they are is uh is a task and you know, it's it's one of those things like if I could focus on it all day, it would be sooner. But we, there's still there's all of us have to do a lot of tasks in a day. You get pulled off constantly to go look at a machine or fix a tool, whatever. Why you got to look at me. What did I do? And, yeah, I don't do those things. You get pulled away for those. I get pulled away for other things. And uh, so. It's, you know, We've seen I wish it. I could give you, you a day. It. <laughs> Actually, like everyone here, I've been telling Brandon, Josh, we've ones here that are working hard this year. We've got a lot of good stuff coming down the pipe. Yep. Uh, some stuff that none of you guys know about yet. Yeah, exactly. That's the goal until someone says it on a live stream accidentally. I could slip out river. <laughs> um, that would have to delay it a lot. Let's still yeah. way out. Yeah. The uh, the new site, I like even these portal caps. I was just like, oh, I don't want to add them to our site now. But. <laughs> I, every new product, it's just like I should have had the site done. It should have been live already. I had that, those running in like December, right? And then we ended up making. Well, we hadn't run no, it before that, was the that. Fixes. We hadn't run it before that. No, they were running before. Then we had a small little issue. We had basically scrapped out a pile and redid them. Yep. And they were running in December. That's why we have plenty now available. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's Two see. more minutes. Yep. I was just looking at the same. Are you guys going to uh, give comp stance yeah. lessons? Well, to be fair, you, uh, you know, honestly, that's a it's a real it's a real comment. Uh, you know, Horizon. Now, granted, theirs is a it's a much different scale of site changes for us compared to what they did. But that's a it's a fear because you end up launching a site that causes a lot of issues with orders, and you have customers who are unhappy and. You know, it's it can cause nightmares. I and mean, it's a fear to launch something like this and it not work right. Yeah, I mean, I, I've gone back and forth on trying to figure out when to launch it. Like, do I launch it on a weekend, or am I risking not having support if I need something on a weekend? And uh, I've, I've gone through so many alternatives of how I think I want to do it, and we'll see when I actually am ready and make that decision. But it is super close to three thirty. If you're on the Facebook side. 
we'll go over it. We'll do another 30 minutes on YouTube. So you can go find the Adventure Products YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed while you're over there. And if you're already there, hit subscribe. So uh, with that, appreciate you guys on Facebook. Come join us for the last half hour on YouTube. It's clear on that. I believe so. I think it's different than it was before. Save changes? Yep. So, there you uh, go. RPP is the best website I've seen. I'm guessing that's I being I'm guessing that's being sarcastic. <laughs> I think the last time they updated their website was 2013 or 14. Back then it was okay. And it was it was it was great in the day. Our website was okay. Yeah, and things have changed. You know, I think our our latest one or our previous one was launched in 2015. And so the uh yeah, it's been a while and it's we're going to a different platform now, one that's uh, more constantly updated, it's got more features, it you know, better checkout experience, faster, gives you guys a little bit more um you know, info and tracking stuff like notifications and updates that are that are nice to see. Things that I use from other sites already that I that I enjoy. So I think you guys will as well. Um, What's the checkout process? I remember you've been really happy about that that process. Or it's like oh yeah, it's the shop website. pay things. I see what Brandon's saying already, and that's uh, I see that they they found how to turn that button on. <laughs> 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 I should shouldn't I should have known to check that beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> we, should, we should turn it to the max. Yeah. It'll like thumbs. But, yeah, exactly. It just blends. Real weird with a beard, especially. How is Harley Designs commenting? Well, yeah. <laughs> Look, no hands. <laughs> I, your skin looks like Play-Doh. That's Play-Doh, actually. That's Steve says. <laughs> did someone leave the YouTube open? I did. I came in, set it up early, just to make sure we you, were good to go. You gave him permission. I know, because I I walked in here like you know, three minutes left until we have to go live, but sit down and we're ready to go. And I had your chair on the ground. Yeah, I know. Every time. <laughs> and I come in, see what's changed, see what kind of flamingo is on a shelf. You never know. <laughs> you looked so young. Especially building Botox. Yeah, that's right. Just the crow's feet back here. Do the puppy lips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some saline injections. Well, uh, we know Steve didn't. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That would the camera would have been upside down somehow. Well, I think we have a setting for that. Yeah, <laughs> that's mirror. We could flip sides. Flip yeah, oh, that's weird. <laughs> I have a hard time with that setting. <laughs> we can see it upside down. Okay. Yeah, with friends like these, huh? Yeah, that's it's. They're good. They're mainly good days. So almost every day is a decent day. You tried taking my photo. Yeah. See if someone's desk looks way cleaner and gets worried. I know. Everyone, we have a habit, like some of us before we leave somewhere, like, oh, we'll do some cleanup beforehand. It's like, and then if Jim cleans his desk, I have to clean mine because his is usually the one that's close to my level of messy. It's also so used to like your stuff that got brought over to mine. That is the exact opposite of how it happens. <laughs> so, shock fire? So, shock fire updates? <laughs> one day. One day we're just gonna this bring them on you. Me, I never even got the last parts from them, but it's fine. What do you need to change? Uh, two little pieces there, and then a number of markings. But VRD eighteen will be after VS four twenty four. Oh, those numbers are so confusing. That's all. That's our what we deal with already. Is like when we go to name something, we're like, okay. How how do we make this all still work with our current list of options and conventions to try and make it as least confusing as possible? But we're not always successful. We still get confused. We yeah. <laughs> I usually have some semblance of of uh, a rhythm, but you never know. Uh, would you choose an ultra or a Phoenix straight axle uh, with the F10T housings? Ah, well. I would say 
Phoenix straight axle with the F10T personally, because I do like the straight axle um, on the on the Phoenix probably better than the the Ultra previously. Um, Ultra is also discontinued, so that'd be another reason. Salesman, uh, but the uh, the F10s a little bit a little bit smoother for you know a little bit more clearance. The F10Ts, of course, you're changing things up anyway, but still a great looking style. If you guys need a wide wear a new skill to it. Yeah. But we've uh we've looked at some print, we looked at a big like industrial 3D printer at one point, and then we realized that it took more power than one of our big CNC machines. And we're like, oh. And it didn't work right. Yeah, it just it still wasn't we looked at like a, one of the HP fusion jets or multi-jet, whatever they call it. We should do this though. People wanted it. Any plans to make a stent? Oh, uh yeah, I mean. Jim had shared the video of uh, cutting the mold of the buck that we have here behind us. Now, granted, this one is not of the final design of the stance that you guys have seen now. This was the first version. The... Oh, my God. Heavy. I know. And you never want to, like, just drop it down. But Well, I was trying to make it. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hide see. that comment so it doesn't cover up the body. Uh, but this was our, our first version. This is the video or the one that Jim shared the video of. But after this, we had brought the the front of it back in by like maybe three quarters of an inch per side. But it was fun to be able to see him in in person. But I'm I by all means agree. I I love the cab only styles, and it would be something that would be would be worth doing just for another option. I think the the proportions of it would work fine with just deleted back here. So. <laughs> Maybe we do a six door, the Centurion version. <laughs> we could do a six by six. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> just make a big we'll toolbox in the middle. We'll just add beds. Yeah, it'll look like something driving around North Highlands. Uh, Trust F10 straight axle or HD44 black diff covers. What? I don't know. Trust. No idea what you mean. We don't make Sorry. <laughs> Um, especially since the rear body mount fits that center cross brace, it would be easy to mount. That was the idea with that rear or that mid cross brace just behind the transmission was to was to be well. I initially I drew that up because I needed a mount for my power wagon cab. It was for a cab only mount, and we just made the spacing the same so that those body mounts could be moved around and try and make it easy for people. Um, but yeah, give them orange. We oh. yeah. I, okay, fine. We'll add orange. So you can have red or orange. Yellow. Uh, yeah. uh, black and clear might we could maybe we could maybe do those as options. Currently, you know, Curry sells those axles in the full size world with a red diff cover. So he's been a lot of bodies already. There is a reason for that. Um, we should pick this the stance. Okay, well, I, yeah, he uh, he did one for the the Uncrustables version this last week. I think that he has for sale. That looks really good. I'm a big fan myself. Um, how about toenail diff covers? That'd be a be a you know, we should appropriate. Do, we should find a model film and make the part of a pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> just make gears coming out of it. <laughs> Funny, actually. Red or orange just depends on the light. Exactly. Just you know, whichever you. The will the new portal covers fit F10 flat? Yes, they are compatible with both uh, the molded stock F10 housings or. The aluminum versions so whichever one you're looking to fit you can get the the clear or black for those and they'll bolt right on so can we order bespoke wheel i love the i love the name bespoke normally of course only uh, applies to fashion but or more often applies to fashion but, uh no we should you do cannot one off on you that. could but you have to order like you know two thousand sets we should do a one-off on that oh, no. oh god <laughs> Definitely need some time. I'm gonna figure out a way. I'll figure out a way to. Just you're maybe, not gonna like it though. Maybe there's something better. <laughs> that river <Just> maybe. <laughs> you just use the shit. You just remount this right and just make it thin. That's how that works. Good. You <laughs> probe it. And... Yeah. Uh, I would just a one point. Scratch, though. Yeah, exactly. It'd be easier. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I did. Totally. One nine Dayton, ah, real spokes and all. We have to make them like a one point three though. 
So you're a real 13. No, he likes them. He's been using them for a long time. I, <laughs> I do like Uncrustables. I am a child. I play with toy trucks, and I like pre-processed peanut butter and jelly with no crust sandwiches. He's a low rider. <laughs> uh, low rider. I would rather have the donk style, because that's what I prefer. The spinners? <laughs> I love spinners. What is a good overdrive, underdrive gear setup for the mullet build? Um, for that, what I would suggest is taking and doing the overdrive gears in the front, which are a factory gear set in the portal. Or sorry, no, it's you don't need that. Yes. You overdrive gears in the portal box for the rear axle, and then you do a underdrive ring and pinion set, which is VPS 08331. You put that in the front axle, and that gets you a decent amount of, of overdrive, a, a, you know, a manageable amount pull. You could also do a overdrive ring and pinion in the rear if you wanted to get it even lower. Not necessarily needed, but if you have a transmission with a ton of overdrive, you may you may consider it. Yeah, just for you, a little fast. <laughs> Actually, something about that. A spare kidney for oh the website. The, web, the new website will allow financing <laughs> on River to we Actually, on everything on F oh, Yes, <laughs> exactly. You can. We're like, hey, make that item this much. See see what the payments are. <laughs> it was like a nice used Honda payment. No. Well, it was divided by twelve months, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it exclusive wheels i'm not gonna say anything <laughs> spare <laughs> spare kidney all right i mean yeah i think you spare is a is a tough word we should do this <laughs> i meant make an aluminum version of the plastic egg oh well we don't do that we don't make an aluminum version of the plastic of the f10 housing we do not we make an f9 version but it is a little bit different than the F10. So the F9 version, though, is basically the same style axle. Um, and that's why we don't have a specific one labeled F10. We do have an offset F9 front uh, front straight axle that will allow you to, to swap in to get your aluminum version of. So, But it is not labeled an F10 like we have for the rear portal. So gives you a little bit of insight. I know that can be a little bit confusing. So, but making a new version that is just so ever slightly different is likely not on the list. So that's, if we're, if we want to make another new axle, we'd probably rather make it significantly different because it's pretty much the same amount of work to somebody else. Not to me. I have no idea. The only problem with stuff like this though, it does raise the costs, but yeah. we might be doing something unique to it. So. Let's so pay, why, some people were like, well, the old ripper was this much and this one's more. Why? Yeah, it will, well, it will be different, different cars. <clears throat> Paying four with, pay, yeah, this will be more of like a 12. So it'll spread it out a little more for you. Yeah, I don't think you can control it. It just gives you 12 payments. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure you could pay out earlier, but. Yeah, but that's not our, uh, <laughs> we don't have anything to do with that process. Once we, we get in, we just. It's yeah. part of what that shop pay system. Yep. And so they handle they handle the whole thing. But for people that aren't doing the you know any sort of financing, it actually just makes checkout a lot faster. We'll still have PayPal. So anybody who prefers to check out with PayPal, that will still be the same basic process that you're used to. But for anyone who's set up with the shop pay, which would be interested to hear if you guys are, if you're using it on other sites or not. Um, I know myself and Brandon, uh, Michael, we all use shop pay. I have been on other websites, sites that I don't even shop on regularly. And it's just like a one click checkout experience because it's all done. It's everything saved through that already. So you don't have to create accounts or anything. It's just super easy to do. Um, Apple Pay is accepted as well. So Apple Pay is on there, Venmo. Um, we actually don't control that though. It's just part of that system and they handle everything on that part. Yeah, but they do, I think they, I don't think Amazon Pay is accepted. That's one of the few ones that it's like, <laughs> an additional setup type thing if we wanted to, but Apple Pay is 100% on there. Right? Cause I know a, a number of people do do like that method, so. Here you go, I'm a big read for you. Yeah. Is Bangor's a parts company that makes trucks, showcase or parts or an RC company that makes a ton of parts, two sides. It's, I mean, it's a, it is a 
we're a bit of, of an identity. We've kind of gone through that identity crisis period because we're kind of a unique company in that way. Yeah, you know, when when Vanquish was started around 2008, uh, it was aftermarket parts for a segment of the hobby that was very small, um, and just supporting other brands. You know, uh, there was parts for Axial, uh, Losi Parts, Berg, Twin Hammer, you know, Viterra, um, and just kind of the Slash was out there for a little bit. The fifth scale HPI Bajas. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other like outliers that were kind of interesting. Um, but, you know, it was all just aftermarket support. Even, you know, I joined in 2016, January 2016. And at that point, still, it was just aftermarket support. And 2017 is when the release of the Origin came out for the first truck of our own. Um, and we've, and even it was kind of a progression, you know, used a three gear transmission. Um, but now, you know, we have our own line that we do, uh, you know, obviously have worked a lot at and have developed the way that we, we like. So we still do aftermarket parts for other trucks and companies as well, but we have the balance supporting our own stuff and those parts at the same time now, which is just another layer of things to discuss and think about drift wheels yeah you can call those for whatever but those never made it to market <laughs> yet one day i have to add that whole section on the website yeah. i think they're technically like a touring car wheel but yeah call it whatever was, you want it. i remember i couldn't remember the brand it was motegi it was motegi okay. yeah i remember uh, seeing that the other day and i was like oh that was the one like, v bring yeah. on. vp needs an amazon store actually that's uh that's something that we won't do uh, for a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that goes in with that. And our brand is, is one of those ones like it, uh, when you add an Amazon store, you open yourself up to just no questions, uh, returns of a uh, certain volume and a certain level of, of, you know, financial liability to it. And it's, we're a, we're still a small brand. You see a lot of us in here, you know, kind of who we are now and things like that. So going to that level, we're not ready to just say, yeah, we can write off so much loss from that type of store. We have dealers that are willing to take that, but you know, they get discounts on products and they're willing to, to let that be a portion of what they find allowable. And for us, we just rather uh, support local hobby shops and distributors that support shops because that's, in the end, what we those are those are the people I think that are are good for the hobby in general. So there's there is reason we've absolutely looked into it. I went through the whole process on it um, and investigated it, but there was a reason we decided against it personally. And technically, we're selling just other companies are doing it for us, right? But you know, and the shop, the people that we have that are doing it are an actual brick and mortar hobby shop already. So it's something that they decided to do, and you know they're they're following all of the rules that we have for dealers and distributors so uh you know we don't we don't control them beyond that yeah, the only company not, oh my <laughs> there's still a handful but there yeah it's not it's not a huge number and uh yeah you know the the list of com it's a, it's an interesting it's an interesting world that the rc industry is as far as who is, you know, based out of what camp and who owns what? Fun, fun talk. It has been condensed. So. Yeah, it has absolutely uh, <laughs> been condensed out. Let's see. Uh, I don't. Yeah, not, yeah. I don't carry any. Oh, hey, Greg. Uh, Scale Builders Workshop up in Canada. There you go. I uh, actually looked at his store the other day on Google Maps because I didn't I think it's like next door or part of a fireplace store. Greg, let me know. I don't care any brags in my shop that can be bought. Why did you search um, it? Um, I don't know. I was just curious. I was going through creating catalogs for dealers and then oh, his name popped up. And I've talked with Craig a number of times, and it's like I want to see what his shop looks like. And just looked it up because why not? <laughs> that you know what? Yeah, I, yeah. Even I don't know. AI chatbot. Yeah. <laughs> you the uh, mug. Uh, it's, it's, it's the, uh, what was the mug you had? That is the 
blue version of the Comp Stance mug. So if you, we previously had a black one, but this one, I opened it up when we were in here because I hadn't seen it really, but it's actually a really nice blue color. It's in the apparel section of the website. Good job, Brandon. Yeah, good job, Brandon. Or and did Michelle. Did Michelle do it? Or yes. Right? Michelle. It comes with a nice little card and everything. If you buy it, is that you the, will that's that part of the purchase three, made three her day. Yeah. Is that part of the three pallets? Yeah. <laughs> we have a large number of mugs in-house. <laughs> Not just this mug. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that is exactly right, Brian. <laughs> the, uh, oh, yeah, Craig says, yes, we also have a fireplace store. Ah, see? Memory. But, but four dice blue, it's it's pretty close. Maybe a two shades more pale. Take the one car we don't have in here. Yeah, it's, well, there's one up there. It's probably about two shades more pale than the uh, four dice blue which we didn't actually put a name on. The first time we did names for colors was on the uh, stance. We had fun with that, but of course I screwed that up. So. <laughs> you should tell them why. Yeah. Well, you know, I use mine for panhandling so I can buy a river too. <laughs> You're going to need a bigger cup. You're going to need the big gold. So. <laughs> Is the uh, worn out looked on purpose? Yes. It specifically says in the listing that is it a patinaed style look. Kentucky Sky, yes, it is Kentucky Sky Blue. I will add that to the list. <laughs> this shot could be our marketing. Yeah. Matt added, or Matt dyed his rift cage, and it was very pale blue. Hmm. But he said that it was Kentucky Sky Blue. I'm like, okay. <laughs> sure it is. That was, I think, the color of writ dye. Mike? How does someone become a dealer for VP? Currently, we have, if you go to the Bank Products website, uh, on the desktop version, not mobile, at the top on the side, there's a thing that says dealer application. And you fill that out and it has the requirements, you know, must be a brick and mortar store, you know, a retail outlet. So we don't, we're, you know, don't have people that are just like working out of a house or, a, you know, trying to run an internet thing. It has to be a brick and mortar hobby shop. And then we, we go through a vetting process of making sure that it is in fact something. We're not trying to compete with other dealers that have shops and, you know, so, it's just making sure that everything is as protected as we, you know, feel that it should be. We understand that there's new startups and businesses, um, but there's there's a level of things that we're looking to make sure are being done. What's the hobby shop? What's, uh, Scale Builders Workshop. Is there? Is, uh, is he near Matt? Uh, I don't believe so. There I believe he is on the. I believe he's in the maybe in the middle of Canada. He's gonna. I don't remember the. I don't remember that part. <laughs> so let's see. We got eight minutes left. So you can get any of your last minute questions in as long as they don't say when will this be back. <laughs> Anything beyond that, <laughs> try and make sure we answer. <laughs> the middle. Yeah. There's all, I know Canada's big. Uh, looks like yeah. <laughs> this is actually it. It's a it's a build it yourself kit. We do. It's a. An 80 percenter. You have to whittle the rest. I just bring a barrel of yeah, hips. Exactly. Put it together. No, I'm three hours from Matt. Okay, that's probably not exactly the middle. It's still probably in like the Michigan vicinity, if I was to guess. Can I have a stubby kit? <laughs> that's a different way of putting it. I like that. No, you can't, because I need one and I don't even have one. I'm sure you could find one. <laughs> or make one. <laughs> I mean, I could start drilling things. And, yeah. Right. Mike will make the shot. Yeah, right. I don't remember how we prototyped that one. So, when will the stream be back? Uh, when will the stream be back? Uh, in seven days, roughly. What stream? What am I missing? This is the stream. Oh. Live video on the internet. Didn't know there's something else yeah. talking. I don't know. I'm making it up. I'm trying to. We're kind of running out of stuff to talk yeah. about. 30. <laughs> I have done. Matt and I have done. 209 weeks so far, and somehow still don't. We can talk about F1. Go back and talk a lot. <laughs> you. Yes. We oh. can both talk and talk and talk. Scale hardware for SLW hubs. Yep, we have that in three finishes and that's two lengths. The hang, well, the finger. Um, oh, that's a, we can go that one. Real quick there. Okay. 
Um, we have the SLW hardware. Yeah. It's a, there's two lengths. One is standard and one is extended. The extended is for use with other accessories like uh, scale rotors. So this was a truck that was built. The chassis was built by Jerry, Jerry Justice at uh, Death Metal Garage, DMG, who's still cranking out chassis. Uh, this was built around 2013 for Jim. Uh, Jerry built the chassis. I finished the rest of it in 2013, 2012 or 2013, somewhere about there. Uh, but Jerry built this. It was based off of a Jimmy's 4x4 chassis at the day. It had a dynamic concepts Jeep grill or Jeep hood on it. He made uh, bodies for the Wraith specifically. These are the original Vanquish AR60 axles. These are the V1s. You can see they have the link mount screws exposed through the front before the V2s went to uh, the screw hardware that went in from the backside. It's got a three gear transmission in it with a, uh, it's got the Robinson Racing Slash slipper in there when we ran top shafts like that. Proline Power Strokes for a slash, the disc brake rotors that you guys made. And uh, it has bullies on it. It definitely didn't at the time because the bullies weren't made until 2017, 2016, 2017. You should check your spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't go back quite that far. But it's got a Wraith interior, one of the original light bars. Um, yeah, it was a fun build. It's got a, it's probably at the Mamba in it. It's got a peak in it. That's the Pro 4 in there because they didn't have the Rock 412 at the time. And uh, I don't even know where I put the ESC. <laughs> I can't see it. It's in there somewhere. It's up here. Hmm. I'm guessing it's a castle Mamba of some sort. I don't know which one. But yeah. You got the pan hard there. Yeah. Pan hard mount. This was an early version when the Wraith had a pan hard mount you could buy from Vanquish separately. What do you think the weight on that hold is? <laughs> well, that's it. Um, I'm guessing maybe 15 pounds. It's even wrong, 15, 20, yeah. 15, 20 pounds, something like that. Yes. Uh, is there a real question, is there a battery in it? I don't know if there's ever been a battery in that car. It was more for it was a fun build. Shelf just, yeah, exactly. Shelf shelf queen kind of stayed like that. Doesn't look like anything DMJ makes these days. Nope. Uh, Jerry's been made. I mean, he makes a lot of rock rock bouncer stuff. He's been making some pretty cool moon buggy chassis lately. Also cool. But Jerry's been around a long time. Jerry was the president of the uh, KCRC club. President kind of he started it basically when I like when I first moved to Kansas City and like really got involved with RC and it was because of the club that he. He really maintained and, and kept going. So I probably would not still be doing RC the way that I am now if uh, Jerry hadn't been as involved in making that club what it was. So thanks to Jerry. Make sure you hit the like button. Yes, hit the like button on the way out. Going to do it for the 30th week of this in a row. What do you know? Pretty soon it'll be a whole year. Done. Well, someday you gotta get out of the room. You're gonna do some life. I know. <laughs> Once, uh, yeah, still planning on doing some editing video, but obviously that has been. These are convenient, good. and we can come in here, and do this, talk for an hour, and we're out. Edited videos take eight hours. It's actually so. becoming part of our release process now. Yeah, I'm holding back till Tuesdays. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, let's do it on Tuesday. I'm like, oh, I'm releasing the scale news this morning. So, what the heck? I made up the schedule. So you didn't release those on scale? No. Nope. So we can do it on our show. Maybe we should do these videos on Mondays hey, for you. No. Oh. Hit the like button on your way out, guys. Appreciate it. Have a uh, great week, and we'll see you next Tuesday.